of the day. Um, there's any comments on that? Uh, nothing has been signed, so uh, Raymond has asked me to hold off on commenting on anything until an actual contract is signed. So I'm going to follow his orders. How do you feel about your future here? <laughs> Just really good, general. really good. <laughs> Thank you. That was not the prettiest game, I think, from the get-go. Is that just a back-to-back a -back thing, or you guys had been playing so well? Uh, do you almost just say, you know, these kind of kind of get over, kind of a clunker yeah. out there and get a win? Uh, it was a great uh, way to to win. Just to, you know, on a night when you kind of knew both teams were going to be tired coming off the back-to-backs, off of the All-Star break. Um, I think Steph is tired just from the whole week, from going to Indianapolis, getting a two-day vacation, and then playing back-to-back. -back. So I thought fatigue was a factor for both teams, but I really liked our defensive effort um, you know, to hold um, that team to 84 and uh, to challenge the shots the way we did, take care of uh, the paint, and then only uh, allow 11 free throw attempts. It was, a, it was a great defensive effort. The offense was jumbled from the start, but uh, that's, you know, we've been playing so well at that end of the floor, we were probably due for one, and um, it was okay because of the defensive effort. Steve, I was going to ask you if that, if that game was the reason you didn't sign yet. Was it? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is, you, you, you ended the game, you pulled, you know, your guys. I mean, obviously the game was over, but you got a lot of guys in there who need to make a few plays. How, like, I guess invigorated are you by the amount of young talent that still needs developing and, and, and the growth that's there. This has been a, a, a really fun season, challenging season. I know we've lost a number of close games, but uh, as a coach and as a staff, you know, w when we see the, the growth of our young players and we w we're watching them uh, grow up literally before our eyes, it's a very uh, satisfying feeling and it's a great group it's a really uh, wonderful group of players and uh, I look forward to coming to the gym every day and seeing all these guys um, so we have a, a really a fun mix of, of vets who are you know Hall of Famers champions and then these these young guys who are learning and growing and um, just feels like the chemistry and the connection within the group is is really really strong and uh, it makes for a, a fun team to coach what did you think about what happened kind of at the end there? Yeah, you know, I, I've always told for 10 years, I've told our team, if there's a shot clock differential, you keep playing. That's to me, the game tells you to keep playing. Um, and I, I, we've always done it that way. Nobody's ever been offended. Um, they were pressing the last few minutes. You know, we're, you, you still play the game. Uh, as soon as there's no shot clock differential, then you you sit on the ball and you, um, you let the clock run out. But if there's a differential, I, I think – Guys should always keep playing. And I, to me, it's, it's very strange why that would be offensive to anybody. I've never understood um, why that would be offensive. And as I said, nobody's ever been upset with us in the past for, for doing that. Um, I just, why, why take a turnover? Why, what's, you know, the clock says keep playing, you, you keep playing. And that, that shouldn't offend anybody. Especially because they had their starters in and you didn't. Is that a kind of, you know, increase your say like hey, these are young guys just trying to play here it doesn't make any difference to me what the circumstances are if, if we're down 20 and there's a shot clock differential i want us to go score um but it, you know the fact that they were pressing and trapping and in the final few minutes um you know they kept playing and so we we have to be allowed to continue to play anyway but I don't know. I, I don't like. I said I really don't think it was a big deal. But for whatever reason, there there is a little, um, I guess, uh, you know, a, a feeling of, um, you know, kind of a weird dynamic that somehow it's offensive. Um, to me, it's the clock tells you to shoot. You just shoot. You just play basketball until the end. Just following up on Marcus's question, you never said two timelines. It's been out there for years, and also kind of backed away from, but. Do you start? Maybe you feel that with this team. Do you be like this? Is you see, you're seeing kind of two different levels, uh, certainly of the veterans, and then the young. Is, yeah. Do you feel that with this team? Yeah, yeah. You you can feel it, and I, I think um, if you really think about it, um, it probably should take a few years for something like this to come to fruition. You know, you you can't expect to uh, to add uh, several 
you know, young players, inexperienced players to a championship team and everything's going to work perfectly. So these last two years have really been about um, guys like J.K. and, and Moses, um, you know, getting better and, you know, adding players like, like Lester and Trace and BP and, and seeing the development um, within. And um, our, our developmental staff has done a great job working with those guys every day. Um, we have a, a really good connection with our G League in Santa Cruz. And, and um, there's a lot of really uh, good, young, talented players that um, are working hard and getting better. And it's just really fun to seeing them produce and, and help us win games.